Power tools are an important part of everyday life for professionals and home users alike. Manufacturers create versatile, safe, and easy to use tools. However, you should be aware of the risk of accidents and understand how to work safely. This lesson will review safety and best practices for using power tools. With the vision to unify and educate others about power tools, the Power Tool Institute has established itself as the leading organization for building global understanding of power tools and for maintaining high standards of safety in the industry. Its members represent market-leading brands in the areas of portable and stationary power tools. From table saws to portable drills, from shapers to sanders, the Power Tool Institute's members are committed to improving the industry and to being the premier resource for power tool education. Our objectives are to educate the public as to the usefulness and importance of power tools, to encourage high standards of safety in the manufacture of power tools, and prepare and distribute information about safe use of power tools. General power tool safety warnings define a power tool as an electric tool which may be connected to a source of electricity by a cord or be powered by a battery. They are often used in place of hand tools to perform a variety of work, ranging from construction to manufacturing to home improvement and more. Injuries can be prevented by exercising caution, following the instructions in the operator's manual, and using the best practices in this lesson. Power tools require operator knowledge and adherence to safety instructions. They must be used sensibly and kept in safe operating condition, whether they are in the hands of a professional tradesman, a beginning do-it-yourselfer, or a vocational student. The demands of safety apply to all. The material presented here is a compilation of specific power tool warnings. The purpose is to highlight some of the safe use requirements of specific tools. The general safety warnings and instructions offer a basis for safety. The warnings and instructions on the power tool and in its operator's manual provide the best source of safety information for the tool. Read and understand the contents and follow all warnings and instructions for each specific power tool and all related accessories. This is essential to the safe operation of any power tool. Power tools can be dangerous if all safety warnings and instructions are not followed carefully. General safety warnings and instructions apply to power tools, both corded and cordless. Please note that cordless power tools, chargers, and batteries may require additional safety measures. Review the operator's manual for more details. Following good safety practices when using all power tools is a must. Make a habit of including safety in all your activities. Do not underestimate how quickly an accident can occur if proper safety practices are not followed. Proper power tool inspection involves looking at the tool before turning it on or using it. Before using a power tool, ask yourself, are moving parts misaligned or binding? Are all parts, including guards and accessories, in place? Is anything broken or loose? And are all parts, batteries, and accessories manufacturer recommended? Damaged tools, batteries, accessories, or tools with missing or malfunctioning parts or accessories must be fixed or replaced before using them. Develop a maintenance schedule for your tool. Examples of a damaged tool include malfunctioning power switches and improperly functioning safety guards. If a power tool is damaged, do not use and take it to be serviced by a qualified repair center. Service or maintenance performed by unqualified personnel or use of inferior parts or accessories could result in a risk of injury. Use only manufacturer-recommended parts. Before using power tools, always read and understand the tool's operator's manual, tool markings, and the warnings and instructions packaged with the tool or accessory before starting any work. Start with a safe work area. Keep your work area clean and well lit. Cluttered benches and dark areas invite accidents. Do not operate power tools in explosive atmospheres, near flammable liquids, gases, or dust. Power tools create sparks, which may ignite the dust or fumes. And keep bystanders and children away when using a power tool. Distractions can cause you to lose control. Practice electrical safety. 
Grounded tools with three-pronged cords must be plugged into a properly grounded outlet. Never remove or cut off the grounding prong or modify the plug in any way. Do not use any adapter plugs. Double insulated tools have a polarized plug where one blade is wider than the other. This plug will fit into any outlet only one way. Do not change the plug in any way. And do not use AC only rated tools with a DC power supply. The wire gauge and length of the extension cord must be able to handle the amps of the tool. Find the amps on the tool's nameplate and use the chart from the operator's manual to determine the necessary wire gauge for your extension cord length. Practice personal safety. Dress properly. Do not wear loose clothing or jewelry. Keep your hair, clothing, and gloves away from moving parts. Loose clothes, jewelry, or long hair can be caught in moving parts. Remove adjusting keys and wrenches before turning the tool on. After proper preparation, it's time to use your power tool. Remember, electricity can be dangerous. When using a power tool, don't touch grounded surfaces such as pipes, radiators, ranges, and refrigerators. There is a higher risk of electric shock if your body is grounded. Don't use or leave power tools or batteries in the rain or wet conditions. Do not abuse the cord, carry the tool by its cord, or pull the cord to unplug it. Keep the cord away from heat, oil, sharp edges, or moving parts. Replace damaged or worn cords immediately. Don't use damaged batteries. Replace them immediately with manufacturer-recommended batteries. Always hold the tool by the insulated gripping surfaces. This also applies to battery-operated tools. Contact with hidden wiring or a tool's own cord will make exposed metal parts of the tool live and shock the operator. Use extension cords properly. When using a power tool outside, use an extension cord marked for outdoor use with WA or W. These cords are made for outdoor use. Extension cords with three-prong grounding plugs must be plugged into properly functioning three-prong outlets when using grounded tools. Follow these personal safety and work habits best practices. Stay alert, watch what you're doing, and use common sense when using a power tool. Do not use tools when you are tired or under the influence of drugs, alcohol, or medication. Keep handles dry, clean, and free from oil and grease. Be sure the power tool switches off before plugging it in or inserting a battery pack. Do not carry tools with your finger on the switch. Unplug the tool and remove its battery before changing accessories, performing any maintenance or adjustment on the tool. Use safety and personal protective equipment. Always wear eye protection. A dust mask, non-skid safety shoes, hard hat, or hearing protection must be used when specified in the operator's manual. Do the job safely. Always keep a firm footing when using power tools. Be sure you have balance and control before you start the job. Use the power tool accessories only for the jobs for which they were designed. Secure and support the workpiece. Use clamps and a stable work surface. Do not hold the work by hand or against your body. Keep hands away from rotating or moving parts. Do not touch the drill bit, blade, cutter, or the workpiece immediately after operation. They may be very hot and may burn you. Use two hands on the tool when recommended by the operator's manual. Keep guards in place and working properly. Do not force the tool. Use the right tool for your job. It will do the job better and safer. Use only accessories recommended by the tool manufacturer. Accessories that may be suitable for one tool may become hazardous when used on another tool. Use only batteries recommended by the tool manufacturer. Use of batteries not recommended by the manufacturer can result in fire or explosion. If a method of dust collection is available with the power tool, it should be used to reduce the risk of dust-related hazards. After you're done using your power tools, you must store them out of harm's way. Store battery packs away from other metal objects like paper clips, coins, keys, nails, screws, or other small metal objects. These things can make a connection from one terminal to the other, shorting the battery terminals together and causing burns or fire. To avoid accidental starting, unplug the cord, remove batteries, 
or lock off the switch when the tool is not being used. Keep tools out of the reach of children and people unfamiliar with the tools. Power tools are an investment. Effective maintenance will ensure safe use for future work. Follow instructions regarding maintenance in the tools operator's manual. When maintaining a tool, use only identical replacement parts. Use of unauthorized parts or failure to follow the maintenance warnings and instructions may create a risk of electric shock or injury. Clean and lubricate a tool only as directed in its operator's manuals. Certain cleaning agents such as gasoline, carbon tetrachloride, and ammonia may damage plastic parts. Maintain labels. These carry important information. If unreadable or missing, contact the manufacturer for a replacement. Maintain accessories. Keep blades and bits sharp and clean. Check abrasive wheels for chips and cracks. Do not use a damaged wheel. The safe and proper use of power tools and accessories will ensure you are able to complete work tasks while avoiding the risk of injury. Follow the safety instructions and best practices presented in this lesson. When in doubt, refer to your tool's operator's manual. Remember that injuries and property damage can be prevented by exercising caution when using power tools.